Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When last we left off, we were going to surrender this war. There is no way at all that I'm going to win this war. The fact of the matter is, even though we had a larger pool of potential allies and forces, they took such a long time to travel down to the Byzantine Empire, and also they arrived piecemeal, whereas this army pretty much arrived all in one go. I mean, look at it. There's like 50,000 people here. I can't raise armies that big. I, I could raise forces here of like 4,000, but I'm not going to be able to raise a humongous army. We've pretty much lost Armenia. It's a shame, but it also works potentially to our benefit in the sense that um, we could potentially gain a higher percentage of the forces of the, uh, higher percentage of the forces of this, um, area, the Byzantine Empire, when we no longer are emperor. Because the Armenian uh, Kingdom will not be there anymore, which means we will have a higher percentage. So in an odd sort of way, I'm going to surrender because it's the best thing for me to do in the long run. Plus it also saves me some, uh, worry. So I'm going to disband this army here. I don't need it anymore. And we are also going to start using our money to upgrade various structures in our, uh, in our kingdom. Because if we don't, we'll basically have the problem of uh, not having a strong new power base when we get to... Um, we get to the fact that I'll just be king. And that will happen. It will probably happen sooner rather than later. But eventually, I will just be king. And when that happens, I'm going to need to have to deal with it. Also, I think a mm, longbow range is very expensive. Let's just build castle fortifications for now. Castle fortifications seem like a good idea. City guard, however. Hmm. Didn't even know that was an option. And a few more things to build. There we go. Ooh, we can build some uh, castle church fortifications there. Good. Good. We'll just let this surrender happen. Regrettable. But there you go. And while we're here, we'll ask you to join my, to join me. I will ask you to join me. Yep, we lost. It is a shame, but what can you do? He accepts my offer of peace. And now we shall ask you to join me. Oh, what? Look, oh, what? What a surprise. Rather. I was about to say what a surprise, but then I didn't. It's like, what a surprise, you accept. And while we're here, why don't we see if you can join us? Do you want to join me? No. What if I send you a pile of money? Will you then join me? Of course you will. Marvellous. Well, the Empire has shrunk. A bit. I get the feeling this bit is going to be lost next, and then this bit, and then this bit. Hey, you never know! The Empire might shrink so much that I could make a claim for it, and then I can become the Emperor again. It could happen. Failing that, if I was independent, I could use some of this 6,000 prestige to become uh, an emperor in my own right in a totally different empire. However, that's probably not going to happen. We also do not have access to Shrewsbury. We should pay attention to that. What can we do now with the time we have? Well, there's not much uh, expansion we could do over here. Ah, I see you, uh... You have claimed that territory for your own. Very well done. What else are you doing right now? Are you fighting a war? You are not. There's not really much I can do at the moment. So suppose I shall just have my uh, Chancellor doing something interesting. What could he do? Hmm. I mean, you're not going to switch over, are you? No. And to be honest, at the moment I don't want you to. Hmm. The Chancellor doesn't really have a lot to do at the moment. Doesn't really have much to do at all. I suppose you can just keep you fabricating claims somewhere. Not there, though. Have you fabricate claims somewhere totally harmless? Like, say here. Pretty harmless. So now we're just sitting... Oh yeah, I was ill, wasn't I? Well, I'm no longer ill. That's good. One title can be usurped. Nine... Titles could be created, various kingdoms, the Kingdom of Cyprus being one of them. 
I don't want to make any of them. I have four crowns. It's actually a downgrade from the number of crowns I've uh, previously had. Princess Siwan has now come of age. Who could you marry? Well, the King of Abyssinia is right there. And you don't have any claims to any titles. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. So the Empire has shrunk slightly. The Empire has shrunk slightly. In fact, how old is my current Emperor? 47. In preparation for, um, no, 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 let's, let's not. Let's actually remain here until then, because, uh, we have a fair few people that are being voted in. Okay, none of them are actually, uh, I could nominate... I could actually nominate my son, who has the Born in the Purple trait, which would be Prince Morgan. <laughs> That's actually an idea. Why don't I nominate him? I'll vote for him. That's who I nominate. I wonder if other people will agree. Probably not. I could increase centralization a little more. Oh, hang on. What's happening here? My courtier. You want to marry my courtier? Off you go. I'm definitely going to try and increase centralization now. Yes. Go for it. I'm sure people will vote for it. No reason not to. Hmm. Not liking the fact that uh, we did lose territory, but it it was pretty much on a... There you go. Medium centralization. Oh. Suddenly I'm going to lose vassals. I'm over the vassal limit by five. Ah. That was something I f totally forgot happened. Can't change it now, can I? Not for five years. Hmm. And most of my vassals are dukes, aren't they? Oh no, there's a count there. There's a count there. Why don't you, uh... Why don't we transfer vassalage of that count there? That's one down. One down. Hmm. Who else can we transfer vassalage over to? Oh, we could transfer vassalage of you to, say... Oh, no, no. Let's do this the opposite way around. Oh, there are loads of counts here. This is obviously where I want to start transferring vassalage. Good sir, I'm going to transfer you some vassals. We're going to transfer you over... Hmm. Oh, I can't, because they're all already your vassals. Can't do that! Hmm. That's a little awkward. I don't want to be over the vassal limit. It looks like I've left myself no choice. They're all various counts. You're already serving under vassals. You're independent, though. So how's about we go to you? We can't transfer vassalage to you. Are you fighting a rebellion? Oh, you're you're rebelling. Right, we can't do that, then. Fair enough. Shouldn't have probably done that. Shouldn't have probably raised it. Oh, well, in five years I can lower it. That's fine. That's fine. But basically, my plan for when uh, I become a different king is that I'm going to plot independence with my relation over here, King Gaston II, if he's still alive. We will plot independence together, and we shall both become independent. It will be interesting, to say the least, and hopefully it will work. I could have you as my steward, not my steward, my spy master. And that's actually a really good idea, because you really like me. I'm not having someone who hates me be my spymaster. That's never a good idea. We've seen before what happens when that occurs. Also, you've uh, usurped a title. That's fine. That's fine. Just got to sit and wait patiently and hope that the vote changes in my uh, favour. I'd rather have a uh, Maelor on the Byzantine throne, but there you go, see? Two votes. And the people that are currently being voted for are very old. Well, you're not very old. But, uh, 
We can always swing the vote into our favor, perhaps? How old are you? You're of course being educated by me! And you have no eyes! That's kind of bad. But now we're back to a moment of relative peace. That is, until this empire decides it wants more of the Byzantine Empire, whereupon it will probably just take more of the Byzantine Empire. Oh, you want our help? The Queen of France wishes our help against the French Revolt. Hmm. Interesting. However, it isn't a uh, matrilineal marriage. Hmm. It's not good. However, we will accept. We'll help. Ah, Prince Morgan is now of legal age. To become a misguided warrior. Oh, you definitely need our help. But who are you going to marry? I personally think marrying you to... Hmm. This person seems like a good idea. No? Maybe? Hmm. It's a difficult decision, actually. It's a difficult decision. It's Princess of Norway. Princess of Andalusia. Princess of Abyssinia. Princess of Andalusia is actually not a bad idea. You might inherit that kingdom. Who knows? Right, you definitely need our help, though. Um, how many troops do you have access to? 4,000. It's not a lot, really. What about you? How many troops do you have access to? 400. Hmm. Kind of needs our help. 600. 800. 300. 500. 200. It's not a lot of troops. Gotta be honest there, not a lot of troops. Hmm. 200. Just need to muster up a few uh, thousand soldiers. You know, just make sure. There you go, there's 4,000. That's a good start. 1,000. 1,000. Need a boat to get those somewhere. Oh wow, we just have a boat in general. So go there, and we'll muster up an army. A couple of thousand should do the trick. Cyprus? Ah, not even worth trying to get them off the uh, the island for that. Ah, you, sir. Two thousand. That's more like it. Muster all that army together and uh, put it in France. And we'll be fine. Smallpox has broken out nearby Wales. Good thing I'm currently residing in Constantinople. It's a good thing, too. Mm. I doubt you like me very much. Actually, you get along with me quite fine. But of course you saw territory in an easy way to conquer it, so you still decided to declare war. To be fair, you won quite handily, so... Also, we're gonna need more boats. We need a lot more boats. This big army, in fact, we don't need you anymore. How is that war going? Not well. Uh, not for long, mind you. I need to wait for it to become, uh... 1375, so I don't potentially lose vassals. I don't want to lose vassals. I mean, I don't need the... Uh, actually, I sort of do need the increase in... Uh, sort of do need the increase, which is kind of a problem. But I don't really have any independent rulers anymore. Don't have any counts or anything that require... Uh, people to... Uh, transfer vassalage over to. I mean, there are some there, but... You could just grant independence to people. Why should I be proud of myself? Ah, you're no longer proud. Interesting choice to uh, lose the trait now, but uh, there you go. I pretty much efficiently got all of this, uh, all of these vassals as they are, and now I'm in the enviable situation of not having 
anything I can do to actually improve the situation. It's not good. It's not good at all. Plus, you own a piece of territory in Wales that I should be owning. We also own the county of Oriel, which is something. Hold on to that for a while yet. I can't transfer you over because you're already owned by... Uh, this is all complicated. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. It's alright, three years. I probably won't die in three years. At least I hope I won't die in three years. So why is... Ah, yeah, we, uh... Let's find someone that we can, uh... Vote on. Why can't I nominate my, uh, my son? It doesn't give me the option anymore. Why not? Hmm. I could nominate, uh, Gaston, but, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Also, I am now ill. <laughs> hmm. I'll, I'll nominate my actual heir. No one will vote for him. No one votes for him. No one votes for him at all. There's no scheming that I can do to, uh... To sort that. No, there isn't. There actually isn't. There are no valid plots. He's just sat there having daughters. Could very well be a new queen of Wales soon. Ah, you want to marry this person. Okay, that's fine. You do that. My beard has changed. I have reached my 50th year. And that man also has no eyes. Hmm. New important decisions can be made. Oh yeah, totally forgot about that war. Should probably win it for them. Here we go. So, we'll just walk over here, shall we? Ooh, righteous imprisonment. You, what are you planning on doing? Whatever you're planning on doing, stop it. Thank you. Let us, uh, conquer some territory, shall we? You are obviously part of the, uh, the French Revolt, uh, plan. <laughs> Just conquer all of these, uh, revolts while we're here. Makes it easy. We probably shouldn't have fought that one, though. That one's quite big. However, we are winning quite capably. Uh, to be honest, I don't think we should be fighting any of these. Oh no, that one was actually part of it. <laughs> That one was actually part of it. So that's gone. Now we fight this army. Much better. A son was born. Excellent. I think that war is over now. Which is handy. When we come back, folks, which we will... We have the minor problem of too many vassals and not enough actual, uh, not enough uh, domain size to uh, maintain them all, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to have to lower centralization again, or else I will risk people leaving and peeling off the empire when I die. While that may not be a bad thing, it could very well be vassals of mine that go, rather than vassals of the new future emperor, so got to be careful. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.